Welcome to the DK Custom Products YouTube channel. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. And today we're gonna do a follow-up video of a video we posted a few months ago about a 131 on a tri-glide. So yeah, we heard from Chuck who did the 131 mm -hmm. on his uh, 2019 Tri-Glide and got a dyno chart from him, so we're going to share that today. Before we get into those details, we'd appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. That always helps us out. Now a little backstory on this trike. You know, if you go to a dealership and you ask them about their 131 crate engine, if it'll fit your trike, chances are they're going to say no. But obviously, it can be done, and it works out actually pretty well. Chuck actually collected some dyno uh, results on the trike that we didn't have when we posted our previous video, and that's really what we're going to share with you guys today. And uh, the results are actually pretty surprising. Pretty yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I know riding with them. I've ridden hundreds of miles with them, and I know riding with them, that thing has a lot of power. I mean, right. it just leaves the other bikes in the dust. Right, right. And from my understanding, it's a direct fit. The crate engine direct fit into the trike. The issue is Harley's fuel management system. Right. So you got to kind of void your warranty and this and that. You know, I don't want to go into details on that, but you need a full, uh, really substantial tuner like the Power Vision, which is what Chuck has. Yeah, so look in the upper left corner. We're going to put the video that we originally did where we did. he had not had it on a dyno yet. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have a dyno chart for it. But he sent us uh, the dyno information. So let's look at that right now. This is the put out by Harley. This is what Harley says to expect from a th 131 on a two wheel bike. Right, in comparison to a 114 stock right. Milwaukee 8. So the white line, the white dots are the, is the torque line on a stock 114. The black dots are the horsepower line on a factory 114. Right, and you can see it's putting out about 108 foot pounds of torque peak, which is what we've seen in our test as well. So I fully agree with the numbers they're posting yeah. here. And then they say with their 131, that it goes to what 132 foot pounds of torque right peak and then like 122 123 horsepower now chuck wanted passing power if you look at the video that we linked above he wanted passing power right and then he also kept the stock transmission internal so he doesn't intend on giving this trike hail at all times just Right, yeah, you don't want to but he that. wanted torque. He didn't care about horsepower. You don't feel horsepower till 5,200 RPM. And so this is what Harley said their kit will produce on a two-wheel bike. But, of course, you get less. You have more parasitic uh, power drain on a trike with the two rear tires, bigger tires. Solid axle. Train, yeah. All that, moving all that mass. And so... Uh, this is on a two-wheel bike, and this is with the 131 kit comes with uh, a 65-millimeter throttle body. Well, we know from our testing on mm -hmm. dynos over the years that when you go to a bigger throttle body, you lose torque. Right. You gain horsepower up in the four, five, and 6,000 RPM, but you lose torque. Well, he wanted torque. So he kept with the 55 millimeter throttle body, which is really good if his builder, his Harley dealership knew that. Everybody thinks, oh, bigger's better, bigger's better. Right, right. No, bigger is not better. If you want stump pulling torque, you don't want to go to that 65. Right, it's, you know, it's just like with the exhaust properties, the larger you go, yeah, more volume, less velocity. So, right. you know, it's not just about how much air you can feed in there, it's how fast you can feed it. Right. That smaller 55 millimeter throttle body every time outperforms in torque. In torque, right. So, and then one more chart um, here. This is a chart showing typically what uh, a 114 puts out. And then we have the chart of what his trike put out on the uh, dyno. Now you remember, as far as what Harley touts for the 131 kit, you, you can expect just over 130 foot pounds of torque. Well, you can see on this trike, he got substantially more than 136 foot pounds of torque. Not just peak norm numbers. If you look in the RPM range where you would typically ride, it's substantially better throughout. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Look at, at 
a little under 2,400 RPM, it's generating 125 foot-pounds of torque. That's crazy. Yeah, in comparison to what Harley says, you can expect about 115 in that RPM range. Yeah. So that's a substantial difference. Yeah, and that's on a two-wheel bike versus a three-wheel. Now, the other thing I should point out is besides keeping his 55 millimeter throttle body, he also went with the torque cam, not the cam that comes in the two-wheel bike. Let, let's um, just look at uh, some footage from that other video of how well this thing accelerates. in comparison to what again what harley says you can expect he does have a little less horsepower but he didn't build this strike for horsepower most of us don't ride in the range of rpm where you even feel horsepower so not really relevant to chuck or most yeah, of us i mean i i've i can probably count on both hands the number of times i've taken my tri-glide or my soft tail above 5300 rpm mm -hmm. it just is not where I ride. So to sum up a few things, mm -hmm. number one, the 131 will fit in a tri-glide. It's in a, his 2019 tri-glide. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no fabrication or fitment issues at all. He is using a power vision. Right, in, in place of the Screaming Eagle fuel management system, right. which I mean, it's very limited in what it could do. So, you know, not really an apples to apples comparison. We're just putting it out there that you can, you know, optimize the performance of a 131 to just simply use a different fuel management right. system. And he's, he does have the 55 millimeter throttle mm -hmm. body. He does have a torque cam. And here's the other thing. He has a lot of cooling components on the bike, keeping the temperature yeah. down. And so when we've ridden together, our temperatures were always really close to each other. None of this 280, 290, <laughs> 300, 320. Yeah. You're not going to produce that kind of power. You know, when you hit 270, we already showed, we'll put a video up here. We showed an M8, when it hits 270 degrees engine temperature, it drops 10, 11, 12% power. Yeah. Now, 10% power on 136 is 13.6 foot-pounds of torque. Noticeable. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So then all of a sudden, instead of uh, 13 and 736, he's at 122. Yeah. 122.4, right? So um, so anyway, a lot of cooling components, an external breather system so he doesn't have the hot, oily, oxygen depleted air going in. He does have a free flowing uh, filter element underneath his stock cover. Mm -hmm. And uh, he get, got rid of the plastic behind the cover that you know is making a, a hot box. So it was, we knew it had a lot of power. I mean, because when you ride with someone and you see them barely hit the throttle and they just take just off, go, yeah. you know that there's a lot of power on tap there. And yes, he did offer me to ride it. No, I didn't ride it <laughs> because I knew if I rode it, I would likely catch the bug and end yeah. up spending $8,000 or more to put a 131 in. Yeah. And I just don't need, you know... I just don't need, <laughs> just don't need to it. tempt myself with that kind of power. Right. Now, here's something else to think about. The numbers that this trike produced, again, there's a lot of parameters on the tri glide, much more mass with the rear end, you know, solid axle, two big car tires essentially has to turn over. Imagine what it would do, same build, apples to apples on a two wheel bike. Right. Yeah. If it had all the stuff that he had on there. So it's, you know, I was happy to hear back from Chuck and get a follow up on this. To our knowledge, he was the first one to do a 131 on the trike. And also to our knowledge, he's the first one to put out dyno results. And so we're you know, appreciative of Chuck for providing us with that. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments or you can email us. If we don't know the answer, we'll try and get with Chuck and get the answer. Uh, but I think we, between the other video we posted and this video, we've given pretty much all the information that he has. It's a blast to ride and um, He's really having fun on it, and those are some pretty significant numbers <laughs> yeah, right there. Especially for a trike. Yeah. You guys ride safe out there.